Uh, this is Xiao uh, Jun Liao from the Institute of Linguistics, and I teach uh, Austronesian linguistics. In the class, basically, we started from uh, giving a brief introduction of the geographical span of the Austronesian family. So it's from Madagascar in the west to uh, Rapa Nui, also known as the Easter Island in the east. And then from the north, uh, we will have Taiwan, known as Formosa in the literature, to uh, the South Island of New Zealand. And after the discussion of the general geographic uh, distribution, we get to talk about a little bit about the uh, major languages, lingua franca, in the Austronesian world. And then we started talking about the sound system. Basically, I tried to cover sound system in different geographic area, and then uh, the structural aspects of the languages in uh, different parts of Austronesian world. Of course, it's not possible to cover the structure of all the 1,200 plus languages. But what I did was I tried to find the most important structural features in different geographic areas. So like in Taiwan and the Philippines, we are known to have the very well-known elaborate uh, verbal system. And the focus will be on that part. And also uh, some noun phrase, they require special marking. We also discuss that. But in the oceanic part, we talk about the special possessive construction, because they have this uh, alienable versus inalienable possession. And in some languages have very elaborate uh, possessor system. So if you are talking about like pig in different contexts, you may require to use different classifiers. So basically, th those are the things that I cover, and students are expected to write two research reports on um, two different Austronesian languages from different subgroups and also from different geographic areas. I don't want them to focus on just one area. And the results from well, the previous course that I taught was quite good. My students, they basically most of them, they chose one from Taiwan and one from either uh, Indonesia, Philippines, or Oceanic area, and they can do a comparison and see how different languages from different geographic areas of the Austronesian world may be. And I think that will give them a very good idea about uh, the general pictures of the family.